Yeah, yeah, what's going on? It's good to see you. What's up, my guy? How you doing, man? I'm good, man. Thank you for taking the time to talk. Congrats on being a part of this franchise. This is one of my favorite franchises ever. It's one of the first movies I ever remember going to see at midnight with my friends and being super hyped. And I want to hear from you. Like, do you remember kind of like, do you have a memory about the original Matrix films, how you watched them, like what they meant to you back 20 years ago? I don't remember how I watched it. I was an outside kid, man. I was, (laughs) um, so I was definitely late to the Matrix. Um, But I do know, I don't know where I was, but I do know when I saw it, the the this i call it the scorpion it was always a scorpion in my mind the scorpion in the belly button the the thing in the belly button that was just oh that weirded me out um but then i love the running on the walls and obviously the dodging the bullets and the you know the dodge this moment um it was just it has so many iconic film moments uh that that definitely stayed with me for sure that's uh, yeah, that scorpion. Oh God! Uh, but now here you are. You're like o- opening of this movie. I don't want to spoil anything, but you're tossed into that style of action, uh, yeah. running on walls and doing all that crazy stuff, and then yeah. more to come later. Like yeah. th- you've never done anything like this before. You're on a roll, and it's fun to watch your career take off. <laughs> this is different. Yeah, what this is what different. was kind of like? Is there a stunt that stands out to you? It's like this was like this is Matrix. Like this is a thing that you can't train for. Yeah, well, it was one of my first, one of the first days filming in San Francisco, and um, I'm on. The, I mean, this this movie kind of it, it, it could really make you feel like a beginner all over again, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm pardon. I'm on a roof in San Francisco, and um, Lana says action, and I come out and I do my movement, and all of a sudden there's a helicopter, fifteen that comes up and it reveals itself, and it's fifteen feet away, and you can't hear anything. And it's a helicopter, like you know, it's oh man, it was just madness. And you just, I'm, I'm way on, you know, on top of the roof in San Francisco. Uh, and I said, okay, I guess this is what it means to be in the Matrix. It was just mind blowing and, and really wow. surreal at times. The things Dude, that that's awesome. Do. Yeah. That is so cool. Dude, you yeah. got you got to inject a lot of new personality into this version of Morpheus, which. It's, it's cool to see how that plays out. And he's so stylish. He's got a girl, like his suits. Everything is yeah, so stylish. Yeah, yeah. I'd love to hear all the characters in the Matrix really have unique styles. Did you yeah. get to have input on the look and kind of the presence and energy of Morpheus? Was that all Lana's ideas? Did you guys get to collaborate at all? Well, <laughs> funny story. I tried to I tried to come in, you know, knowing that we were going in a different direction and, you know, that Morpheus kind of wanted to have this rock star type of look and vibe. I came in with my idea to line. I pitched it. I said, "Okay, I got it." So Morpheus, he's gonna have this this short haircut, and he, he's gonna dye his hair red, and then we're gonna do these really cool like designs and these parts and things like that. And Lana's like, "Hmm, okay, let's just let's just go bald." And I'm like, "Golly, that's just the opposite of like red with parts and the fade and things like that." So, uh, but yes, it, it was it was it was collaborative. Uh, it was semi-collaborative. I'm gonna be honest. It was semi-collaborative. Uh, I didn't have any control over the designs, but once I got it on, I I got to I got to style it and put the personality on and things. Uh, like. dude, that's cool. That's fun. That sounds like yeah. a hell of an experience. And listen, yeah. I, I remember the first time we ever met. We were on the set of Aquaman. Set of Aquaman. Yeah. You were so hyped because you, we we got we were the first people who weren't in the movie to see you in the Black Manta suit because we just saw yeah. a photo of it. <laughs> and now that movie's in the books. We got a we got another one on the way. Dude, what can you? I, I, a trench was a Black Manta movie. Like, yeah. what, what can you say about this? The future you have for this character? Because I feel like we still just scratch the surface. Yeah, I think you know. I think uh, absolutely right. You know, I think you know. In this, in the next Aquaman, I really wanted to, to put more personality into the character for us to get sort of get to know him in some in some more private moments. Wanted to see him struggle with some things, and then to see a bit more of his of his personality and uh, and character. Also, to see what it looks like for him to be in charge of something, you know. So uh, we get to see a little bit more of his leadership style, a little bit more of his personality, you know, in this one. And uh, he's still, you know, he's back for more, no doubt, in a big way. Oh man, I'm happy for you, man. You deserve it. Keep it, keep it going, and I can't wait for everybody to see Matrix, dude. It's a ton of fun. Congratulations. I appreciate you, V.